We present a novel wearable and flexible haptic interface that consists of magnetically actuated bi-directional tactile pixels. Haptic feedback is often used in mobile settings to combat visual attention scarcity, but traditional approaches are limited to flat, rigid arrangements and provide only coarse feedback. Our approach is based on a novel and power-efficient actuation mechanism, which employs bi-stable electromagnetic latching. Several taxels are embedded in a soft, 3D-printed flexible case. The actuation mechanism is power efficient, generates 160 to 200 millinewton forces, and can be switched at a high frame rate. Actuators made from soft materials can only generate small forces, since they deform on impact. We overcome this issue by combining rigid electromagnetic actuator cells with flexible printed electronics and soft 3D printed casings. Each actuator cell contains a shielded permanent magnet and is sandwiched between latching plates and flexible PCBs. A novel cell design minimizes magnetic crosstalk and allows for dense EM arrays and arbitrary geometric configurations. The mechanism only requires power when switching, but consumes no power when latched. The soft, flexible and wearable haptic device can be used in a number of compelling application scenarios. For example, worn as a wristband, MagTix can transmit precisely localized haptic feedback. In sports scenarios, the device can be used to render dynamic haptic patterns and static tactile notifications. Our device can also be used to augment existing devices with haptic capabilities, giving physical affordances to GUI elements, such as hyperlinks. or drop-down menus. Or rendering numerical quantities. Magtix can also be used to turn passive objects interactive. For example, delivering notifications. Or physical reminders. Finally, our approach holds the promise to enhance interaction in virtual reality by rendering contact and collision feedback directly on the user's fingers. Multiple MacTix strips can be combined to form more complex shapes. In future work, we will explore denser taxal arrays in their applications. Thanks for watching.